welcome me everyone. The first step is we're going to search for and open the shortcuts app. This should be built into your iPhone, but if you don't have it, it is free from the app store. From here, we're going to tap on the shortcuts button. We are then going to select all shortcuts and then we're going to tap on the plus and this will create a new shortcut. From here, you're going to see add action. We're going to select add action. We are then going to search for open app and make sure this is open app and not load app. And we're going to tap on open app. We are then going to select the app which we want the custom icon for. In my case, I'm going to use the app store. Once this is done, we're going to tap on the arrow next to the shortcut. And we're just going to rename this to app store icon. And this is just for the organizational. And we're going to tap on done. And now to add this icon to our home screen, we're going to tap on the share icon here. We are then going to select add to home screen. And we now need to provide a custom icon. If you need help with custom icons, I personally search up app store or the name of the app and then custom icon. And you can long press and save a photo. Or if you have a home screen setup you like, take a screenshot and then just crop the screenshot. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let's say like this, just make sure the borders are gone and then save. So we're going to tap on the icon here. We are then going to select choose photo. I'm going to select my custom icon and then choose. In the home screen name, we're just going to make sure that this is the name of the app. And then we're going to tap on add. The icon is here. If we tap on it, it's going to open. But the first problem you may look at is how on earth are we going to create multiple icons? And what you're going to do is you're going to tap on done. And the trick is you're going to long press on the shortcut you created. And then you're going to select duplicate. You're going to tap on the triple lines. And you're going to rename this shortcut to the next application you want to use. So maybe you know, iTunes icon example, you would then change this from open and the old app. And you're going to change this to the new app. So let's say the iTunes store. And then you'd repeat the same process of adding the app to the home screen. You will also notice that there is this shortcut banner that appears. Apple have actively patched any method to remove this notification. So it's something you will have to deal with, but they have made it appear for a shorter duration of time. So it's not too annoying. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.